A ton of warfare intensifying this hour in Gaza. An active night there as we get a live look at what appears to be explosions in the night sky. Now, the IDF says they are taking the battle underground, taking direct aim at Hamas hideouts. Many of the militant groups' fighters and weapons are located underground within hundreds of miles of tunnels. And the IDF has been steadily destroying large sections of that system. News Nation's Robert Sherman is live in Tel Aviv. So, Robert, where has the IDF been focusing lately? Yeah, a lot of activity in the northern portion of the Gaza Strip, as well in southern areas such as Khan Yunus here, Kelly. That's what we've seen the IDF focusing on today, knocking out those tunnel systems that you mentioned, as well as weapons stockpiles in Gaza. And these are some of the things that they've been finding there. You see these stockpiles that they've been finding, rockets, missiles, explosive devices. Uh, you've also seen, I mean, this is on your screen right now, showing some of the activity over the Gaza Strip as it's remained very constant there throughout the days. Uh, they've been finding lathes that have been used to try and manufacture rockets as well. All of this, as the last 24 hours, have seen some intense fighting taking place in the Gaza Strip. In the northern end, the defense ministry says they believe that Hamas is at a breaking point. The south, though, there's still weeks more of fighting to take place from the latest guidance that we've gotten from the Israelis there. One thing that they have said is, is that hundreds, about 500 Hamas fighters have surrendered within the last month, and the defense ministry calling on Hamas and everyone else who is opposing Israel in Gaza to do the same. And I call from here to all those battalions, to the terrorists, to their commanders, and to the battalion commanders. Surrender. If you surrender, you can save your lives. If not, your fate is sealed. To the terrorist at the opening of the tunnel, there is no alternative. He can choose one of two, to unconditionally surrender or die. And we just got this update from the IDF a quick second ago. Two hostage bodies have been recovered. One of them, Eden Zachariah, who you see on your screen right there. The other one, Ziv Dado from the IDF. Both were kidnapped October 7th. Zachariah from that music festival in southern Israel. Uh, Dado was serving with the Israeli forces when he was taken on that fateful day. We also know this, Kelly. The White House announced that President Biden intends to meet with families of American hostages tomorrow. It is estimated that seven American men and one American woman are still unaccounted for at this hour. Kelly? Just incredible pain those loved ones are going through right now. Uh, Robert Sherman, thank you so much for that update. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.